Hey, back here with Erkan Mette for our complete Gracie Jiu-Jitsu self-defense course uh, here at Gracie Schwarzwald, and we're working on striking. Uh, we've covered the jab, now we're gonna cover the cross or the number two strike. So the jab was the lead straight. The cross is gonna be the rear straight. Okay, so now we talked about with the jab, it's not really focused on knocking the person out. It's focused on you know doing some damage, of course, but checking ranges, keeping the person off you. Um, so we're not really putting a ton of power into this, okay? Um, by the way, when he throws the jab, he can step in with the jab, and we'll talk about that a little bit. But when he throws the two, this is our chance to really get power, okay? Now, the problem is, straighten your arm out, straighten this arm out. You can't reach me with that one, right? And again, we're, not, we're never arm punching. So I'm not doing this, I'm just punching. The power for grappling and the power for striking comes from where? Body, hip. Right, your hips, exactly. So what he wants to do, let me get you to turn this way, is you'll notice the foot. So he's gonna pivot on the balls of his feet. Now, very important that you're not lifting too high and coming up here. In fact, I kind of wanna ground my weight down because it's a power punch. The lighter I am, when I hit you, the less power I have. So I see people go like this and they lift and now they're very tall. So if I hit them, that's not as much power as when I sink. So I think of screwing yourself into the ground with this. Here, okay, so, um, so a couple details about throwing this too. So why he's gonna pivot is when he pivots, now this punch is gonna reach me. If he doesn't pivot, it's not gonna reach me. Okay, so it's very important the pivot is not is not is giving him uh, length, but also it's going to incorporate his body weight into the power. So he's not just hitting me with his arms. Okay, he's going to turn his whole body here. Now a few things on the two we covered this in our mistakes people make, but still for whatever reason I see people do this. They get ready to throw the two, they drop it, and they either punch from down here, or they drop, they come back up, and they do this. And I don't know why, but everybody does it. Lastly, what you'll get is people wind up on this, okay? And yeah, maybe you get a little bit more power, but I'm gonna see that coming a mile away, okay? Um, so it's gonna just come straight out, straight back. So he throws straight out, chin is tucked here, and then it comes right back. Now, can I get you face the camera? What happens is people will do the hip rotation, but they won't turn their foot. They'll keep their foot locked in place and try to do this. Not only are you killing all your power, eventually you're gonna do damage to your knee. You're gonna constantly put rotation on your knee because you've locked your foot. So really, make sure you rotate. Now, the other problem is people go too far. They go like this, and they over-rotate, okay? And now I'm not only off balance, um, I'm looking away and everything, I can't see what's gonna happen, I'm gonna be in a lot of trouble. So for me, the ideal place is let me get you kind of facing this way. If we're here and I rotate, I want my toes pointed to his back foot. So people think they kind of have to rotate farther than they do. I'm actually just squaring my hips up to him. So I rotate, my foot is right towards his back toes. So I'm not going with my foot all the way out and this. Now I'm off balance too. When I just go like this, I'm still pretty stable here. So if I was like, uh, yeah, let's do like that. Just a little bit more this way, so the camera can see. He's gonna face the toes towards my back leg. Boom, here, okay? Notice his balance. Do it again. And just leave your hand out. Very stable. Keep turning your toes. Yeah, now you feel really off balance, okay? So you really wanna make sure that you're here. Now, the big mistake I see and I'll even tell a quick funny story about it, is people reach, right? He wants to hit, so let's say you're here. This is a good range, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm here. So rather than step forward, people will lean forward to hit. They think that adds more power, okay? Be but the problem is if I go like this, and I go like this, and I, I'm off balance, I can't readjust my weight. It's gonna take me time to resettle. So not only are you gonna be able to hook and you know, hit me here, if you wanted to kick me, there's no way I could pick up my legs to block. If you wanted to shoot on me, I'm in no position to really 
defend anything, okay? And I can't even follow up. If I'm like this, I can't follow up with another punch until I set my weight back, right? So um, the story was, I remember going to um, a tough man contest one time and everybody was doing what they call pinwheel fighting, right? They would come out and they would literally be up on one leg swinging at each other like this as hard as they can. And guys would fall over and it was actually considered a knockdown. And it was never a knockdown, they just fell over. So make sure that when he throws, what he doesn't want to have happen is for his head to get too far in front of his toes like this. He wants to make sure, boom, he's got good up and down stability. That's probably the number one mistake. And so when you see people holding pads, and again, they don't practice a lot of striking. They want to kill this pad. It, does, it did something to their mom or something. And they really lean way over. They go way through it. And they're off balance. He should be here. Pop. So everything, notice, throw a two, three. Pop, pop. He's already in position. But if he overextends and now throw that three, it's harder to get back in time, right? It's going to be very slow. Okay, not to mention if you throw that two and I slip it, I'm gonna kill that leg if you're off balance. Okay, so facing the camera, here, toes, perfect, and then right back, right back, okay? Right back, so if you're with me, two, good. Two, now over rotate this time, two, yep, okay. Um, over extend this time, yeah. Now. One thing I also see on the two, we talked about this a little bit, is he throws the two, it's nice, but it drops and pulls back. So if he throws that, even if he drops, we come here. Okay, so make sure it goes out in. Two, good. Two, good. Okay, so that is our rear straight, or the cross, or the number two punch. Um, Focusing on those details when you're practicing. It's just like if I'm drilling on the ground. If I'm drilling an um, arm bar for mount, right? I don't just throw as much power and, and spazziness into it as possible, right? I, I train for perfection, okay? Um, practice does not make perfect. Practice makes permanent. So if you're training poorly, you got poor technique that you're building into your body.